You asked a great question. You want to know what you can do now to help prepare your body for a future pregnancy and make sure you're in tip-top shape. One thing you can start doing now is exercise. Develop a normal exercise routine, and if you start now, you can, in most cases, continue with that while you're pregnant. But it's not best to start an exercise routine during pregnancy. And like I said, as long as your pregnancy is healthy and normal and you don't have complications, you can usually continue on with whatever you've been doing. Um, this will also help ensure that you either achieve or that you stay at a healthy body weight. Get online and, and go to a BMI or body mass index calculator. It'll just have you plug in your weight and height and you can determine what your body mass index is. And a healthy BMI is anywhere between 18 and 24. And you'd wanna to aim to be at that before you get pregnant. If you're obese during pregnancy, it can, it can increase your chances of certain complications, things like preeclampsia or gestational diabetes. So being at a healthy weight definitely in, increases the chances that you and your baby will have a happy, healthy pregnancy. It's also a good idea to take a prenatal vitamin every day starting now because prenatal vitamins, of course, have lots of good vitamins and minerals in them, but one of them is folic acid, and this helps prevent neural tube defects that can actually become a problem before a woman even knows she's pregnant. So start taking that now. And it's also a good idea to go to the doctor and get an overall checkup, telling them that you want to plan on getting pregnant, and they can make sure that there's no underlying medical conditions or issues that could possibly... Um, become a problem during the pregnancy. You also asked another great question about what the differences are between an obstetrician, midwives, and family practitioners when it comes to their ability to handle emergencies and to coach you during labor. Um, I'll just kind of go through each practitioner and what their specialties are. First of all, an obstetrician is a specialty in the field. They are capable and equipped to handle emergencies and high-risk pregnancies. Family practitioners and midwives are, uh, are totally able and prep to handle low-risk pregnancies, but they do need to have an obstetrician as a backup, or they need them to be available at all times in case there is an emergency because their ability to handle those types of situations is limited. As for your practitioner being available as a coach during your labor process, it's usually not the practitioner, meaning the doctor, the midwife, or the family practitioner who's going to be there coaching you. It's going to be a support person that you've designated ahead of time and your nurse. You said that you're planning on delivering at Utah Valley Regional Medical Center, and I actually work there, so maybe I'll see you when that time comes. And we do everything we can as your nurse to help support you during labor. We show you different positions. We talk to your support person about different things they can do to help you. But ultimately, your support person is going to be the one who's going to help you the most with the help of the nurse. Um, we have other patients we have to be taking care of. Same with the doctors. So we can't be in your room all the time. So your support person is going to be um, the biggest support to you during the process. It's recommended that you take a prenatal class when you're about 28 weeks along, and this will help prepare you for the labor and delivery process, but not specifically to help prepare you for natural childbirth. So in addition, you should take a, a breathing and relaxation class or a Lamaze class. Um, other methods that a lot of people have um, tried and been successful with are hypnobirthing. Some people try the Bradley method. It's up to you. They all boil down to basically breathing and distraction. So just look into those different forms of relaxation, decide which one is best for you, and do some preparation. If you go into natural childbirth without any preparation, you will probably be sorely disappointed because it usually hurts more than people think it will, and you need to be mentally prepped before that time comes and have good emotional support. So that support person, whether it's your husband, boyfriend, mother, sister, friend, needs to, needs to attend that class with you because they're also taught how they can help you during the process. So congratulations ahead of time. Good luck with everything. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.